All right, welcome back to 2 by 6 It's Vanessa Subs here with a meal, a uh, white lime. Um, we are going to spend this session just talking a little bit more about hands before we get into some live coaching uh, in the sessions to come. So I think that we got some good discussion in last time, and uh, this time we just are going to wrap it up. Uh, I think um, the first couple hands I want to talk to you about, Emil, are just situations where um, – Really simple, just sort of understanding people's hand ranges, like when you should be folding and when you should be calling. Uh, we've talked about people are pretty much not very aggressive without the nuts in general. So I, I just want to talk about a couple of um, turn calls that I thought you made that you probably shouldn't have, and then one time when you actually folded, which I thought um, uh, wasn't the best play. So let's just look at those pretty quickly. Um, here you have nine, seven, seven, eight. I, you know, I don't even like this hand that much to begin with. It looks prettier than it is. Um, nine, nine, eight, seven is much better. I'd much rather have a hand that's unpaired. Um, but anyway, that that is what it is. So um, I might just fold that. I might limp it depending on the game texture, uh, the game situation. I might raise it, you know, min raise it, keep the pot smaller, like we talked about. All different options. Um, okay. So we get into a three-way pot. The flop is uh, queen, nine, five, rainbow. Um, and you check the flop. I think that's correct. It's a bad board texture. Um, hit people's ranges a lot. You can spike a six to hit the nuts. Um, so I like that check a lot. Um, okay, you turn a set. And uh, this guy bets out full pot, right? So what does that tell you? I know this guy was pretty aggressive, right? Right. Um in terms of preflop, but I still, in preflop and postflop as well, he was pretty much one of the only people that was, like, seemed to be trying to play back at you. Um, I think he probably recognized you from 2 plus 2 or something like that. Um, but that being said, uh, I don't think that really affects his range that much on the turn um, in order to, like, bet. He bets into two people here. Um, you know, I have a straight draw to go with my set so I might take one off to see if he's just semi bluffing um, some people will semi bluff with like five seven six nine here something like that um, so I'm definitely okay to call once especially because I have a gut shot again some people I might you know that are incapable of bluffing I might just lay it down on the turn um, but I think calling once isn't like that horrible because you know a six or any board pair is gonna often make your hand um, you have the blockers the nine so either they have a set of queens or the nuts, or you're good, pretty much, right? Or they could have a set of nines, but anyway. Um, so I don't mind your turn call, though. I'm not in love with it. And then the river, he bets 20 into a 33. And, I, you know, it's just one of those situations where he bets on queen, nine, five, seven, rainbow into two people. I just don't think he's ever bluffing there. 